Hmm. A Veggie Tales episode that predicts modern internet humor? Well, it looks like I'm about to see the disaster that's about to ensue. Okay, now that I got that obvious joke out of my system, on to the video! Hello everybody, NTC Jr. here, and welcome to the first episode of the Nostalgia Teen Critic Jr. Season 4. Man, four seasons. Time really does fly so fast. But hey, this is not only the Season 4 premiere, but this is also my 300 sub special! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am your god. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you. Alright. Absolutely incredible, actually. 300 subs. I remember gushing out over the 100 subs I have. And I had the review, Here to Help from Star Wars The Forces of Evil. And then I got 200 subscribers where I did a collab review with Uncle Orange and Marshmallow and Miles on Shrek the Third. Whew! Right past my head. The Junior Crew is happy. We're also happy. We Thank you guys so much. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Keep on subscribing. <laughs> so, what am I going to do for this great extravaganza when I'm killing two metaphorical birds with one stone? Why, it's very, very simple. I'm actually going to be splitting the 300 sub special into two individual parts. You'll see what, there's a collab review that's going to happen in the second part, but you'll see eventually. Right now, today I decided to do the fan written episode because a long time in my Twitter, I asked people to do a fan written episode on today's episode. And apparently people sent me a lot of jokes. But you may be wondering, what am I going to be reviewing? Well, it's very simple. Today I'm going to be reviewing Dun Dun Da! Veggie Tales, The Wonderful World of Autotainment. <laughs> yes, The Wonderful World of Autotainment. Yeah, I've gotten so many requests just to review this episode. It was on my Twitter, friends have been asking for it, so. For part one of this 300 sub special, I'm going to be reviewing this random VeggieTales episode for your guys' viewing pleasures in honor of 300 subs. Now for today's episode, I'm going to be doing something a little different than my previous reviews. Yeah, because normally in my reviews, I just watch the episode, review it, and make jokes along the side that explain my thoughts on the end. But not this time. This one's just going to be nothing but jokes, sent by you, the fans. Yep, so yeah, thank you guys so much for submitting these jokes for me. I love it, love it. So that's why I'm just going to use the best of the bunch, or at least what I can find that I've written all in this doc. Doc that I just put in on my laptop. So yeah, this one's just going to be a joke-filled review. And then, I'm just gonna pretty much do like a joke barrage, and then explain my criticisms and thoughts on the end of the episode. So yeah, a little bit different. Different. So, a lot of people usually have a disfault with the episode. So, what do I stand on this episode? Well, we're gonna find out together, and let's go dive into it anyway. For the first part of this 300 subspecial, this is my joke-filled review of the wonderful world of autotainment. Okay, Larry, it's time for the theme song. Uh, not this time, Bob. You better get on out there. No, really, I'm not doing the theme song. Oh no, it's finally happening. I, I never thought it would happen, but it's finally gonna happen. Larry's deciding he should be the top dog while Bob's being under him. Oh my God. This is a dream come true and yet a nightmare at the same time. It's peaches and cream and yet dogs and cats living together. It's like, it's awesome yet mass hysteria. What do you mean you're not doing the theme song? Bob, it's time to get up and never look back at what happened to the kitchen. Where are we? The 
future. Wow, uh, the future sure is white. That's a whole new level of racism coming from a talking tomato. Just saying. Yep, the future's been white since the 70s. <clears throat> Yep, the future's been white since the 70s. Wait a minute. If the future's been white since the 70s, then what color was the future before then? The future holds no theme songs. Huh? Theme songs are too predictable, too repeatable, too ordinary. The future is about the unpredictable, the unordinary, the unexpected. Well, I can kind of see where his head's at. Theme songs can be a little predictable and ordinary, but yet again, that's why we enjoyed them. Heck, why'd you think I stopped doing my theme song during se after season two? And just move on to intros that I literally asked a guy by the name of Miles834 to help me out with. Eh? You know why this is funny, Bob? Uh... Huh. There's a chicken now. That does seem like the next logical step when it comes to his character. Somebody help that chicken, please. That's why, in the future... Uh, Larry, you can take off the chicken head now. Oh, right. That's why, in the future, entertainment will be randomly generated. Randomly generated? Randomly generated. I refer you guys to my opening joke about VeggieTales predicting internet humor. Hi, Rusty. Hi, Ventrilomatic. Hi, Larry. Hi, Bob. Greetings. Hey, those are robots. Really? And the sky is blue, Captain Obvious? Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Why did the chicken cross the road? Weed eater. <laughs> ah, shoot. Just shoot. Is this video filled with bad jokes now? This wasn't in my notes. What is the solution to the equation 2 plus 2? I don't know. What does 2 plus 2 equal? Weed eater. That's a good one. 2 plus 2 equals weed eater. That just sounds fascinating. What's next? 4 times 10 equals collateral damage. I don't know about this. It seems like we got a pretty good thing going, and I like my job. I don't want to give it up to a couple of robots. You can't stand in the way of progress. It's veggie versus machine, Bob, and the machine's got the upper hand. Uh, the upper hand? Yep. I mean, they do have hands. So what I can get from this is that all the veggies are trapped in this wheel of veggies with swirling balls. And the wheel of veggies will choose to perform at random. And the swirling balls of this order will determine both the topic and the genre of the song. Makes sense. Please activate Courteous Recognition Sequence 4. The French Peas! Hello! It's happening! Ah! Oh ho! There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole. There's a hole. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Oh, great. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Wait, what? There's a hole in the bottom of the sea? Run for the hills! How do you sink a submarine full of peas? I don't know. How do you sink a submarine full of peas? Your boat has not left the driveway in 15 years. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! You know, that Zacchaeus and I have a lot in common. What leads to that correlation? Well... He was a tax collector in a tree, and I've got a surge protector in my knee! Did that joke actually make sense? I was not expecting that. But I was expecting not to expect something, so it doesn't count. We then get this animated short called Lunch, which is about a blue man getting a candy bar from a vending machine. And that's it. How is this greedy again? Well, the short is not bad. The only question I have with it is, how is this greedy? It's just a guy wanting to get something from the vending machine. To repeat what I said before, eh?
darkness, my old friend. Archibald Asparagus! Oh dear. I know the kings of England, and I quote the facts historical. Okay, since one of the book covers has Larry as Abe Lincoln, what president would Bob be? He better not be Donald Trump. Well, I don't know. What do you think? The intensity of your reaction is unreasonable. Oh, so now I'm being classified as unreasonable, uh -oh. huh? Larry, hey, well, what's up with Rusty? Pop quiz. How long does it take to anger a robot to death? Bad time's up. You're dead. So Larry, along with Junior, sings the song to help Rusty feel better, and it works a little too well. I think somebody's channel is gonna get sued tonight for doing the exact same thing. Enthusiastic acknowledgement to. Ah, great. Oi, not again! Performing a song on the topic of... Big Band? Big Donkey! <laughs> Help! Help! Alright, that's it. I've had enough. I'm putting a stop to this nonsense. Alright everyone, that's the end! I'm sorry, but this isn't gonna work! I'm calling off the future! If I'm looking at it, I don't like what I see. Randomly generated jokes? Randomly generated emotions? This is a big mess! This has to be the worst day of my show business career! You know what DreamWorks literally taking over your company? I highly doubt this is the worst day of your show business career. With all that went wrong, where's the lesson? Wait a minute. I know something we learned. Mr. Lunt, would you mind queuing up, Junior? You got it. But that literally destroys the purpose of the rules and that being randomly generated. <sighs> Forget it. It's your episode. It's your show. You freak it up as you please. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Sure. Now here's an interesting fact I learned. It's that Lisa Fisher as Junior couldn't make it. So instead, Mike Naraki had to voice Junior, yet pitch shift his voice to make him sound like Lisa. Cool fact of the day. Boo. Boo. One teary-eyed song later, as Bob and Larry have figured out that God loves them no matter what happens. Well, Larry, I think it's time to go back to the future. Hey, wait for me. Can I have my old job back in the present? These robots are freaking me out. <sighs> <sighs> All right. That was the wonderful world of autotainment. How it wasn't in my opinion? Well, okay, a lot of people dislike this episode, and I don't get why, honestly. I mean, it's just a fun little episode. I mean, the writing's okay, the, the story is meh, I like the robots being hosts, and the songs are catchy as heck, with a little bit of some exceptions. Though the only problem is, I feel like the jokes could be handled a whole lot better, and the robots' performances could have been fun funnier. Yeah, some reason it just felt drab in the in some parts. So yeah, but those are just minor nitpicks. All in all, it's pretty much a decent episode for me. And if I had to give this episode a final score, it would have to be a 7.9 out of 10. So yeah, it's a really decent episode. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. If you're a fan of this episode, go give it a watch. But if you're not, I can understand your opinions. <sighs> okay, that's it for the video. You know what to do in the comments, and you know who to subscribe to right about now. <sighs> Sorry if I'm so tired, it's just like... It just took two days to edit these jokes in. And...
Thank you guys so much for submitting these jokes, like I said. Like I said, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and forevermore. I'm the NTC Junior, and I'm out, y'all. Peace. And season four has just begun, everyone. So have a good night. Sayonara. Tune in next time as I take on... Uh, you'll figure it out in the next video. Uh.